In here, I have three different layers and each of these layers have an animation preset applied to them. So let's start from the in preset. So this layer have an in preset applied to it and it is a position linear top preset. So to see that, you can simply go to your customizer and you will find the preset that you have applied in here. And if we click on select, it will be selected inside of your effect controls panel inside of After Effects. If the effects controls panel is not shown, you can see it, you cannot see it in your in After Effects, you can simply go to window and toggle it on from here. Now in here you will also find these uh, animation features inside of your customizer. You can tweak them from right inside here, but I usually prefer to tweak them inside of effect controls. So uh, let's go to back to preview in here and let's tweak them from right over here. So the first option you have is animation on and off. So as you can see in here, we have an animation. It is coming from the top. Very simple. We can toggle that off. And as you can see now, there is no animation. So if we toggle animation on, then it works again. Perfect. Then you have another option, which is loop animation. If we toggle that, the animation will continue to loop. It will happen and happen again. And it will use this time, the time of the marker as its time. So if we do it like that, let's preview it. You can see that it will continue to loop like that. Very nice. So. Let's toggle the loop off in there. Perfect. And I'm going to position this layer right over here so that we can see it properly. Then you have the animation intensity in here. So if we open that up, you can find animation intensity. So the first thing is a percentage in here for the overall animation intensity. So if we give that just a one, you will see now that it will move much less. So it will just move that amount. If we give that to, to 10, normally most animations are set to 10 by default. So if we give that to 10, it will move by that much. And if we give it something like 100, you will see that it will move quite a lot. So let's preview that. Of course, it will appear that it's moving fast because it's moving a greater distance. So we can see that from right over here. So that's what animation intensity does. So let's switch that back to 10. Now you will also in here find animation height. Now in this case, since the object is coming from the top, the animation height will act sim very similar to animation intensity with the only difference that it won't affect the width. So if it was coming from a, another direction, it won't affect that and it will also won't affect any rotation animation so if you had a rotation animation in here as well it won't affect that so if we tweak this in here to two percent instead of one you can see that the animation is now greater than it was before if we tweak the two three percent it is even greater and so on so let's put that back to one percent and like this you have the option to tweak the height and the width separately so uh, if I had an object that, for instance, comes from this direction, I could tweak its width and its height separately. So that's what animation intensity does. Now, each of these features are available also for the middle and for the out preset, most of them. So uh, there are some differences which we'll see in a moment. So then in animation direction, you will find this is a very nice feature in here you can change the animation angle so even for more elaborate animations this still works so in this case i can simply rotate this and as you can see i can make the animation come from a different direction very nice and if i toggle this back to zero i can also flip the x-axis now in this case since this is coming from the top this won't do anything as you can see but if i click on flip y you can see that it now comes from the bottom. These come in handy in certain scenarios for certain animations. So in this specific animation, you can use simply use the animation angle, but these might come in handy for different animations. 
And then there is the animation at InMarker, which we will look at in a different video. So if I go down to the middle preset, I can find that I have very similar options in here. So let's click on middle preset, select that layer, and in here I have similar options. So you can turn the animation on and off. And since we don't, it is not using the marker to, to set its time in here, as you can see there are no markers. So let's hide this layer so we can see this properly. We can set that loop duration from here. So if we click do something like uh, three in here, so let's type in three, click OK, and now we can see that it is much slower. Perfect. If we go back to one, now it is faster again. You can also go to something like 0 0.1 and it will be very, very fast as you can see. So feel free to experiment this with this like that. And then inside of animation intensity, you will find the same options in here. In this case, as you can see, since it is moving from side to side, we can tweak the animation width and that will have an effect as you can see. But in this case, if we tweak the animation height, it won't have an effect over it since it is not moving up and down. So let's make that one. Then in animation direction, you have the same, the same features in here. So, and in here you can see how, how useful this could be. So, since even for more elaborate animations, you can still change their direction like that. Perfect. So, the animation at mid marker we'll see at a later stage. Now, for the out preset, we have the same features in here, but we don't have the option to loop the animation, since this will be used just for the out in here. So let's hide this. And you still have animation intensity and animation direction here. So feel free to experiment with these features to create even newer new animations in here to personalize them and make them your own.